Uh, Another quick update. It is now Sunday night, but uh, we made some more progress this weekend. Um, as you can see, valve is fully open here. So I have pressure coming in here. We're fully open. And all of my valves are open. Open, open, open. So the whole primary loop, with the exception of uh, the pump, where the where the pump is going to come in from the tank and where the water goes out to the tank, all of this is good. Um, water tight. Something a little weird I noticed. Maybe you have some insight uh, to this, but as you can see, I'm bringing water in one of the cold inlets through this hose, and uh, for some reason, this gauge down here showing 50 pounds. Uh, 50 PSI. Um, however, this one here showing like 40, I don't know, 46, 47. You know, a little bit of a difference. Um, you know what I could do for fun real quick, just because I know you're an engineer like me and you like to play around. What does this show us? That looks like not quite 50, uh, maybe 47. So yeah, um, I'm guessing this one's correct then. For some reason that one's reading a little high. I don't know if the pressure would be different down there. Um, it doesn't really make any sense. It's a, it's a closed system, so I would think if it's there, it's there. Um, anyway, yeah, I, f I fixed all the leaks. Um, I did tighten this up. I think that's where I le left the last video was this was dripping, gave it one more tighten, good to go, no problems. Um, earlier today, I rebuilt this, soldered all of this, um, which is my supply, and everything is soldered over here. This isn't. Uh, so then I'll be able to bring my supply up here and turn and come out and go to my supply manifold for my radiant. I'm um, very close on that. That'll probably be this week. Um, if not, then next weekend. So, but I wanted to get this opened up um, so that I could test it. And sure enough, I soldered this in, uh, got it to a valve, got it where I wanted it. Got real excited a couple hours ago, turned the water on, and let's see, what was I doing? I had it so I was feeding in here, but I had this closed, and I had this open. I forget now what I was doing, but basically I was not allowing, I must have had both of these closed. Um, I was not allowing water to come this way. And even though I had this valve um, open, the water was filling, I was purging here, and all of a sudden, I realized, wait a minute, there's no water in here because this check valve won't let it won't let it go that way uh, by design. Because when the tank is recirculating, you don't want it to just take the shortcut to the tank, and, and you know you want to force it to go through the heaters. So then I thought, oh, okay, well, geez. So I opened I opened up the proper valves and got my water moving, and as soon as I did that, <laughs> right back here somewhere shot out of here like you know the water was shooting all the way over to the wall and I'm like oh geez I got a leak so uh, unfortunately you know like I told you that one I had down there I was able to take this off and take the whole thing to the garage but this one in order to remove this now um, I'd have to break this union I'd have to break this union I'd have to break this union and I'd have to try and get this whole thing out to the garage and I said you know what I I'm I'm gonna go for it so I threw my asbestos cloth back there and uh, I heated these up 
and fluxed and soldered the you know what out of them. I just kept doing it. Flux, solder, flux, more solder. I mean, I, I it was dripping. Hopefully I didn't fill up the bottom of the inside of the fitting. Actually, I know I didn't because the gauge wasn't in there. And when I was done, I peeked in there and it all looked good. But I kept my fingers crossed. I'd set the smoke alarms off here in the house because I got it so hot. And I have one of these asbestos cloths. I don't know if you're familiar with these. I cut it so I could get it around, um, so I could get it around, you know, things. But these things aren't supposed to burn. Um, you know, you put them there and this thing does smoke. I mean, it did protect the wall. I had it back there and it did protect the wood. Um, but man, it was smoking. And a couple of times I did see it flare up. It put itself out, but I was like, wow. So I think that's what set the uh, smoke, smoke alarm off. Anyway, um, just a lot of fun. The kids were, you know, kids and my wife were all wondering what was going on, but it was a good time. I didn't really care about that, and I wasn't going to stop to deal with that right in the middle of soldering this. My 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 only care in the world was that it fixed this leak, and it did. It's not the prettiest. Um, I hit both sides just because I knew if I did this one and put it all back together, it, this one would leak. So, But now it appears to be holding. Uh, 50, 47, whatever gauge you look at, it appears to be holding 45, 50 pounds of pressure. So um i'm good and i'm happy so now i just need to uh run the, the new cold water line over from my meter and i'm going to set this tank over in that corner where it's going to go and plumb in so that this comes out and turns and goes right down into the top of the tank and i've got a little bleeder vent for it and everything and then this will come out of the side it'll be in front here it'll turn and it'll connect to this over here and then the bottom will come around in front and connect to here and the pump fits here and that pump will tie into that and my recirc will tie into that so yeah i'm getting there um i'm getting there i'm happy i i feel like i'm finally making progress again after this set for so many months so anyway i don't mean to flood you with videos um but I'm excited. I should have been doing this back in January and maybe I could have played with uh, the Radiant by then, but I don't see any reason now unless I'm hit by a bus that I won't have this on by this fall. So anyway, I'll leave it at that and uh, take care. Hope you're doing well. Talk soon.